All right, so welcome back to the MB Coast channel, and we're back in San Andreas multiplayer. Except this time, I'm not in the Welcome to Los Santos server. We're gonna get back to that in a few days, I hope. This time, we are in a private local server, which is hosted on my PC, so nobody can actually join this. I'm alone here by myself. And today, I want to make a video, which is not gonna be a typical gameplay video. It's gonna be a sort of a tutorial, and this is useful for a lot of players and more so for server owners and scripters. So I'm kind of a scripter myself, or at least I used to be and this is relevant to me as well. So I'm going to show you all the San Andreas multiplayer client commands that can be used in all servers. They work in all servers, no exceptions, and they could be useful for you to, I don't know, somehow try and make your gameplay experience a bit better. Anyway, so the first most primitive command that we should know is Q or quit. And uh, basically what this does is quits your game, it exits your game. This is a command that all San Andreas multiplayer players should know about by now. If you don't know this command, then you're you're probably not a long time player. Basically it does the same as just going here and quitting the game. The next useful command in San Andreas multiplayer is FPS limit. And it's typed in like this. FPS limit is a FPS limiter that is based in the San Andreas multiplayer client, which can be used from a range of 20 to 90 FPS. So basically you can choose any number in that range, for example 60, and it will return a message saying that your game is now at 60 FPS. Keep in mind though that this only works if you have frame limiter on. So basically we can go back and we can select a different type of limit and if we do this we can see that our game started to slow down quite a bit as we are at the minimal available 20 fps for sam and the maximum 90 fps i don't have no counter right now but as you can see if i type in 90 it's now smooth the ideal limit for SAMP is 60 or below 60 in order for your entire game to work properly. That's basically one of the most useful commands you can know in San Andreas Multiplayer. Next command you can know in San Andreas Multiplayer is the page size command. Page size basically increases or decreases the size of your chat window. I can type anything and then decrease the size of the window by 10 and you can see it's smaller now. This is just so you can manage your occupied screen so that, I don't know, if there's too much unnecessary chat, you can just type in page size 12 or 10, I don't know, I don't care. 20 is if you are relying on the chat quite a lot, but I usually play on 15 or even 12 because that's very optimal for me in most servers. Next fun command we can know in San Andreas multiplayer is head move. Head move basically enables or disables the movement of your head. As in, Sam has a function, wherever you look, your head goes the same direction. I had that thing disabled because I usually like to play without head movement. It's kind of confusing at times. Keep in mind that other players at Sam can also see where you are looking with the head move thing. And even though you have it disabled, let's say you have it disabled, other players who have head movement enabled can still see where you're looking. So that's a fun fact. Just because you disabled head move doesn't mean nobody can catch you peeking on whatever you're looking. Anyway, the next useful command for Samp is called timestamp. Timestamp basically enables a time indicator for all messages sent now and before typing in the command as you can see we've made the commands at 1451 blah 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 and you can basically know when the messages were sent so for example if you get a private message from somebody in a certain server you can see when it arrived so you can know when to reply i don't know if that makes any sense anyway i usually like to keep it off because it occupies quite a lot of my screen anyway for this next command that i was about to show I realized that I needed to change the scenery and I needed to get a player near me. So basically we're all set up now and this command that I'm about to show you is not really useful but could be for whatever reason, I don't know. Basically what you gotta type in is name tag status. There are no variables to this command, you just type in this and when you type it in, you might have noticed that the 
hourglass thing, the AFK symbol, is now gone from this player. And he's gone himself. I don't know why. But basically what it does is enables or disables the AFK status thing. It's not really useful for anything. It's just a command that could be proven useful only in like, I don't know, making a video or something. I just wanted to put that in there just in case somebody actually needs it for something. Next very useful command in Sanchez Multiplayer is called DL. DL basically enables statistics for vehicles in the game, but it only works if you come close to it. So you can see if I walk a bit further away, I can see that the maximum distance is 20 meters. There's a lot of information that could not make much sense to you. The stuff that you can recognize is, for example, health. Cars in San Andreas have a thousand health points each, and when this health count goes to 250 or below, your car starts burning. So whenever you're damaging your car or whatever, or somebody's shooting at you, you can know exactly when it's gonna start burning. So we can test, as you can see, I hit the wall and health decreased by about a hundred. As you can see, it also indicates the seats that are available for the car and the positions that you can find the car in right now, which is not necessarily relevant to you. Next command we can check out is basically font size. Font size is an interesting command for you to restyle your chat, your dialogues. Dialogue is basically a window that appears when you need to type in a password or whatever. You've probably seen them before. So basically the range of sizes you can select is from minus three to five. So let's say we type in, for example, two, it's going to increase the size of our chat, as you've probably noticed. If it's barely noticeable, I can increase it by five, for example, and now it's definitely noticeable. You can see that the chat is quite larger. And the minimum is minus three, which is going to make our chat way too small for my comfort. I believe the default setting is it's probably one. I think it's one. I'm not quite sure right now, but you get the point. So anyway, that's basically all there is to it in terms of useful San Andreas multiplayer client commands. There are quite a lot more commands that I did not go over, but they're mostly useful for scripters, people who code servers, and not the regular player. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.